So if you've ever stumbled across this button inside After Effects, you might be wondering what it does. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be covering this button, what it does, and all the things you need to know about it that I think you need to know about it. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I make After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials. And today we're talking about this button, which is called the 4Comp Collapse Transformations for Vector Layers Continuously Rasterize. Okay, so what does this mean? Let's break it down. So to show you an example here, I have my logo and it's a vector file inside After Effects. So as you can see, it's a .eps file. And say if we wanted it to scale it up and make it larger, what you can do is scale it up. But you notice we run into an issue when you scale it up too far. It becomes pixelated. And when you click that button, it fixes it. So what exactly is happening here? So what you're doing when you click that button is basically you're changing the way After Effects renders your vector files. Instead of rasterizing the file first and then scaling it up, it's moving the transform properties before it rasterizes it. Now what's cool is you can do this with other files as well, such as masks. So say if we made a new solid as well, we'll just make a nice bright pink thing so you guys can see it. We'll draw a nice happy shape here mask and we'll click S on our keyboard and scale this up. You'll see that it's very fuzzy on the side, but once we click that, it brings in the edges a lot more uh, precise and smooth. It continuously rasterizes it, so that's what it does. Now it's very interesting, it doesn't really work with text layers and you'll notice like if you create a text layer and you just type in something here and say if you click S and you bring it up, it automatically rasterizes it for you. But this leads me into my next thing which is the collapse transformations part of this button. So say if we pre-compose this, so basically this other comp has that comp inside it and we scale it up, you'll notice that it's very pixelated. But once you click that, it fixes that. So that is for the comp layer specifically when it talks about collapse transformations, that's what that does. Pretty cool, right? If you're new to After Effects, I've made a lot of tutorials like this one on my YouTube channel. Feel free to go browse them. I'll link one that might interest you right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.